guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are here today with a taste test from um, Patty LaBelle. She has a line of frozen foods and I've only seen them at Walmart. I haven't seen them anywhere else, but we have three items that we're gonna try today. She has more that's out there, but they weren't available in our Walmart. So we'll go ahead and get started with the Black Eyed Peas. Okay, this is what it looks like. So they come in these trays that you can either microwave or bake in the oven. So everything that I'm showing you today, um, I baked in the oven. So um, this is a 20 ounce package, which is a pound and four ounces. And it is black eyed peas with smoked turkey, sweet onions, and garlic. I didn't add any seasonings to it. We are tasting it as is. So it smells good. It does really smell good. So you ready? Sure. My spoonful there. Yeah, and it has the smoked turkey and all that stuff in there. Cheers. Mmm, it's good. It does have a good flavor. Yeah, you mm. can taste the turkey. Yeah, you can the taste that turkey. smokiness. Yeah. Um, I don't really taste any onions, sweet onions, but I do taste the garlic. That's pretty good. Uh, I, I like it. I like it too. I would definitely purchase this again. The the picture though is a little different. See those big chunks of uh, of sausage or whatever it is, no, turkey. turkey. We mm -hmm. don't have big chunks like that. Yeah, the turkey is actually um, chopped up very, very yeah, tiny. Those little red things are the turkey. turkey. So yeah, the picture doesn't look exactly like you know the um, entree, but it's okay. And like in the picture, also on the box, you can see. Um, like bell pepper, it looks like an onion, but you can't really see that in that little tray. But anyway, it's good. Good. It's really good, and it's soul food. I forgot to mention that, so. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to try is her mac and cheese, and it says it's made with cheddar, Monterey Jack, and real butter. Yummy, yummy. You wanna show them? Okay, this is what the product like here. Yeah, so it comes in a tray that's very similar to the black eyed peas, but this is one pound, 14 ounces. And again, I cooked it the same way on the tray um, for an hour. Again, you can make it in the microwave if you want, but I just prefer to cook things in the oven. So, you ready? Here we go. And I love baked macaroni and cheese. Ooh, this looks good. Okay, here is my forkful. Man, it's dripping everywhere. So you yeah. can see the butter or fat or something dripping off. Um, cheers. Here's mine. Ready? Yep, let's go. Mmm, it's good. That is good. I taste the cheddar. You can definitely taste the cheddar. It definitely tastes like a baked macaroni and cheese, but it's not, to me, super cheesy. Do you think it's like really, really cheesy? I wouldn't say super, super cheesy, but it's cheesy and, and I do like it. I think it, it tastes good. Yeah, I think it tastes good. I would, you know, if I didn't feel like making macaroni and cheese, I probably would purchase this, but I will say, let's see if I can show it to you. Now, when I make macaroni and cheese, there's usually not that much, um, I can't show you. There yeah. is a, a ton of grease at the bottom and you can't see it, I'm sorry, from the angle of the camera, but there is a ton of grease in the bottom um, of this casserole dish. And I don't normally have that when I make my own homemade mac and cheese. So I'm not sure what that's about. And this has been sitting for a while. Let me see if I can show you. So there's a bunch of grease. You can see it dripping from my fork. Well, you could, yeah, you can see it dripping from his fork and then there's all that grease in there. I mean, there's tons and this is just a little bit. So I don't know where all that grease came from. The cheese. Yeah, but it's not normally oh. in mine. I don't know. So, okay, last thing we're gonna try is her cornbread. And it says, fully prepared batter, ready to bake. So again, this came like, again, in the same type of tray, if you wanna show it to them. So it came in the same type of tray, and all you do is just stick it in the oven and you bake it. I started cutting it, 
You wanna finish cutting it, there you go. It says uh, no artificial flavors or colors, um, no high fructose corn syrup. Um, and then like I said, all I did is bake it for 35 minutes. And this is what it looks like. And I personally like, oh, and it's sweet cornbread. I personally like cornbread a lot, so curious to try this one. Oops. What it looks like. Yeah. Kind of dense. Okay. Ready? Cheers. It's dense. I don't think you would like it like this. I don't. It's super dense. If you like Jiffy Cornbread, it is not the consistency of Jiffy Cornbread, whereas Jiffy Cornbread is, to me, a little bit lighter. This is very, very heavy. Do it's like dense. It? I don't mind it. It's a little dense, but I don't, I don't mind it at all. I, I, it's it's kind of sweet, which mm -hmm. I prefer. Mm -hmm. And between this and Jiffy, I may take this one. Yeah, and so between this and Jiffy, I would definitely take, um, take Jiffy. If you like a heavier, it's kind of, it almost tastes kind of wet. It's very heavy, very dense. It is sweet. I couldn't even describe it as cake-like because it's just so dense, but I... It could be a little sweeter though. You think so? Oh, I, I, like, I like sweet. Yeah, he likes super sweet cornbread. I, I think this is fine. Um, what would you say is your favorite entree? Oh, the mac and cheese. I'll take the mac and cheese. I mean, I did like the black eyed peas, mm -hmm. but I'll take the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So I I would probably agree with you. Now, normally when I eat black eyed peas or really any type of peas, I normally eat them with rice. So I plan on having some white rice with these black eyed peas, but they're really good. I mean, I'm really surprised for frozen food yeah. how good the flavor really is. So I would definitely repurchase these black eyed peas again. I would definitely probably repurchase the mac and cheese. Not the cornbread. I would not repurchase the cornbread. <laughs> I wish I could have found some of her other entrees because I think she has some type of greens. I don't know if they're collard or mustard, but I would definitely, if I see them, I would definitely try them because I was pretty impressed. So I would try too. Yay. So that's it for our taste test. Um, we hope you guys like this. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we certainly hope that you'll do so. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.